Hello genealogist, it's Craig again and this is Book Sunday. So today I want to talk about John T. Humphrey, John Thomas Humphrey. A friend of mine, died about 10 years ago, had a stroke. He was a prolific writer about Pennsylvania births and his books were, are, were go-to books for locating births of Pennsylvanians in the southeastern counties of Pennsylvania. So he passed away when he was 64. He, um, he had a stroke on August 11th, 2012 in DC. He lived on uh, Capitol Hill. He was, uh, uh, not only was he a genealogist, but he was a person who renovated town houses in, on Capitol Hill. He had, his Pennsylvania birth series was 15 volumes. And he authored a couple other books, which I'll talk about. He was a certified genealogist. Um, if I remember correctly, he had just given a course at GRIP. And then just a couple of weeks later, he had a stroke. So those, those that were able to listen to him lecture were actually very lucky people. He lectured and taught nationally and internationally on Pennsylvanians, Germans, Welsh, and Moravian ancestry. And he could read and write that old German typeface. So he was a good guy to um, do this book on Pennsylvania births. Uh, it, these church records were not just German church records. They were also Quaker or anybody else who lived in the county where he was at. So let's look at these books just for a second. Before I do that, though, I want to talk about what I consider to be his number one book, which is Understanding and Using Baptismal Records. It's a mistitled book. It's a book that should be titled Why Churches Collect Records and Where to Find Them and What to Do with Them. It's a great book. So Understanding and Using Baptismal Records is a book that you should have in your library regardless. He also did a book on, it's on the bottom of the pile, Pennsylvania Research County and Township Records. So I also recommend this one if for your top level, uh, what's in the county, what's available from the county, uh, what's on microfilm, what's not on microfilm, what's a real record, what's, um, it's at the township level. So that takes it pretty far down into the scheme of things. Um, whenever I'm going into a county in Pennsylvania, this is the first book I pick up. Before we talk about the birth books, he also did a book on Northampton County, Pennsylvania gravestones, which um, I don't use. I have it in my library, but I don't have any Northampton people. One day I might. One never knows. So let's talk about the birth books for a minute. So if we were to just grab one, Philadelphia, 1766 to 1780, they go up to generally about 1800. And what I like about them is the preface tells you actually how to use the book, which is always helpful. And the preface also specifically describes what church records are contained in the book. That's important. There may be anywhere from 10 to 25 different churches in a single book. And then it's an alphabetical list by surname and then alphabetical by first name under surname. And generally... An entry will include the surname, the first name of the individual, the date of the birth, the name of either the parents or the, um, sometimes the sponsor, but not often. So, thick book. So, there are two volumes for Philadelphia, 1766 to 1780. And then there's a volume that goes from 1644 to 1765. So Philadelphia is well covered. There's also a volume on Lebanon that goes from 1714 to 1800. <coughs> there's a, there are two volumes on Lancaster. And I have to look. Yeah, one is out of print, and it goes from, 
sorry, post-COVID. There are two volumes for Lancaster. One goes from 1723 to 1777. It uh, was republished for him by uh, Willow Bend Books. At least I think it was Willow Bend Books. Um, reprinted by Willow Bend Books uh, just as a vanity press job 20 years ago, I think. But it covers 1723 to 1777. And then there is the 1778 to 1800. So the stack gets higher. There's a small volume on Delaware County that goes from 1682 to 1800. There is... Dolphin County from 1757 to 1825, which goes a little bit farther than you would expect, except recognize where Dolphin County is in relationship to the rest of those counties. And then there's a book that deals with Carbon, Monroe, and Schuylkill. These are fun. Then there is... A book on Chester, which we reprinted for him. Uh, so, but it's out of print now, and it covered 1682 to 1800. And then there are two books on York. No, one book on York, 1730 to 1800. It's out of print. If you can find it, go find it. Then there's one on Montgomery, 1682 to 1800. It's out of print also. And then. There are two volumes on Burks, one 1710, 1780, and then another volume, I think, that goes from 1780 to 1800. So in all in all, John did 15 Pennsylvania birth books, which is just phenomenal that he visited all these places and did all this work. And he has made it so easy for us to be able to establish dates of birth, and for us to be able to establish the parentage of individuals because of these books. What we'll do is those that are in print, I'll set them up so you can get them for a 20% discount from heritagebooks.com. And that discount code will be JTS20. I think I should write that down so I don't forget. John Thomas Humphrey 20, JTH20. And you'll be able to get a 20% discount on those books, including the Gravestone Northampton book and the um, countywide book, the Pennsylvania Research book, and the Understanding Baptismal Records book. If you are a Southeast Pennsylvania researcher, these are books that you absolutely have to have in your library. Um, there's just no other way around it. So this has been... Book Sunday, number four, I think. Maybe it's number three. Can't remember. Don't really care. Uh, where we remembered John Thomas Humphrey, who died about 10 years ago on the 11th of August, 2012, in Washington, D.C., at the age of 64. A marathoner who died of a stroke, sorely missed by all of those who knew him. Good friend of mine. Um, miss him often. So, another day of just genealogy, where we're converting people just doing genealogy into genealogists. We're over 250 now. We're almost to 200 watched hours. It's just so much fun, day by day. If you've got ideas about what you'd like me to talk about, or what kinds of books you'd like me to talk about on Book Sunday, uh, or other topics or subjects. I'm pretty good at just about everything because I'm one of those bona fide know-it-alls. If you know me, you know that's true. Just put a comment in the comment section and I'll try to get to it just because that's what I do. Besides, I have to do this day by day. Day by day, the three things I pray that I will remember to get it done before noon every day. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't done it yet. Hit that bell so you get notified when I put something up every day at noon. Haven't missed a day yet. Knock on wood or fiberboard, whatever this desk is. Y'all have a great Sunday. See you tomorrow.